What up guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking these brakes and turning them from this to this. So let's get after it. New rotors, new pads, and then we're gonna clean up the old brim binds. We'll take you along for the ride. It's like halfway decent. Oh. That feels like a front rotor. Oh, so the, I know what they do. They do left and right. So this is a left, or I'm sorry, this is a right side front and rear rotor. So the other package is gonna be a front and rear left hand rotor. We just happen to pick the right box. Um, all right, good to know. Easy peasy. So this is the front rotor for this passenger side. So we just happen to get lucky and open the right box first. All right, guys. So if you're doing this at home, rotors come in that package all nice and silver and coated with this. It's, it's like a paint. Um, you can see you brake cleaner, it comes off. Keeps your rotors from rusting when they're in shipping and everything like that, but you got to get it off before you put your pads and everything on here because um, it'll gum up your pads. So do both sides, front and back, you know, clean them up best you can. I try to leave mine on the hat. It helps keep the hat from rusting, uh, especially if you live up north, I don't. But, you know, we still get, you know, surface rust and stuff like that. So if I can leave it on the hat of the rotor, I do. But, you know, if, if it comes off, it's no big deal. So, but definitely where the pad rides, you want to get it down to nice, shiny machine metal. All right, guys, I'm, I may dub over this if, if that AC is too annoying, but it's getting kind of warm in here, so I had to kick it back on. But the plan is here is to loosen both uh, bleed screws here, and then I've got a pad spreader. I'm going to leave the old pads in, and then my, uh, our good friend Drew let us borrow this. I'm gonna put that down in here and uh, compress these pistons back into the, uh, the caliper. And then I'll show you, my plan is to get in there and clean all of this up um, in kind of detail, get all those boots and everything cleaned up on these brakes and get them all refreshed. Um, but we'll get into that once we get these pads and everything out of our way. Alrighty guys, so we got that thing disassembled. It was kind of a pain in the you-know-what, um, especially this pin. This retaining pin did not want to move. Everything's just a little bit old and st stuck in there. Um, but I'm going to clean this guy up with uh, some simple green. Made it up myself. A um, little soft bristle brush for inside on the um, seals and everything. And then I got the an old wheel brush to do the outside of the caliper. So we'll get these things cleaned up and uh, get all that old brake dust and everything out of here and then um, start putting it back together. Got them pretty well cleaned up. Some staining on them, but uh, definitely better than they were. So we'll start putting these uh, pads back in, start putting the side back together. <clears throat> so before I put all this back together, I'm gonna hit these up with some sandpaper, clean them up. Same thing for uh, this, the retaining pin. I'm gonna emery cloth, sandpaper, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna hit that up, clean these up so they slide in a little easier. Then we're gonna lube them up with some uh, synthetic brake lubricant. Where the heck is that stuff? 
how everything slides nice and easy like. So I'm knock that out real quick. You can see, not too much. I don't want to change the overall diameter. Same thing with the pins. Just knock the uh, the dirt off of them. So that's it. The new pads came with new retaining clips, so we'll put these in. You also want to put a little bit of lube or grease on the edge of the pads. Okay, note to self, put the top on first, then do the bottom. Goes on like butter. Dude, I must have sat here and fought this thing for half an hour. Put the top on first, top on first. Slides in, easy peasy. All right, let's loosen this caliper up, get it out of our way, slap our rotor on, put it back together. Alrighty guys, so <clears throat> we got this side all cleaned up and installed. New pads, pins all cleaned up. Uh, once we figured out how to do the uh, the pin sequence, not too bad. So the other side should go a little bit quicker, but uh, you know, that's what comes with learning. Uh, caliper cleaned up okay, still got some some spots in the underneath that are kind of stubborn stuck on um but looks good definitely better than it was before new rotors new pads so i'm going to do the other side probably off camera and then i'll catch you guys back when we start on the rear driver's side is done this side went decidedly quicker it does help when you get a first hand look at the system um but it's back together I'm gonna call it, and we'll pick up in the, well not the AM, but the PM tomorrow to do the rears. So, we'll catch you then. All right, day number two. Let's uh, let's get cracking on these rears, huh? See what we gotta work with on this. So, <clears throat> these were not making noise, as far as I know. Um, but we're gonna replace them anyway. Might as well. Off. Yeah, helps me take the e brake off. Still got plenty on these pads, but well. I 
right, so we got our new anti-rattle clips. We're gonna throw some uh, caliper lube or brake lube, whatever you wanna call it, on there and then on the uh, ears of the pad where they ride. I'm gonna pop those guys in and then we're gonna compress that caliper piston. All right, so I'm gonna try to get you guys in here so you can see this, but you know, the without the tool, this is really hard, and you run the risk of tearing up your uh, your boot here. So um, I just got the tool kind of set up, and basically, you can get these tools. Um, you can rent them, or you can get them at um, Harbor Freight sells an Icon set, sell Pittsburgh set. I borrowed this one from my buddy Drew. Um, this is a Mac tool set, so it's the Mac Daddy. It's got everything in it. I would recommend you get one of these. Um, I got it set up, but seeing with the light, I want to go ahead and clean up all this uh, stuff in here. So I'm going to do that real quick off camera, and then I'm, I'm depending on how I can film this, I may or may not, but um, just got to compress these pistons in so we can get this uh, caliper back on. Went a little decidedly quicker than the front brakes. These floating calipers are much easier to deal with. Pull this uh, lug nut off of here so I don't forget and try to put the wheel on. Because I'm known to do stuff like that from time to time. So let's go take care of that other side and we'll call this thing a, a wrap. All right, guys. What do you say we just uh, snap our way through this one, huh? Boom. Alrighty guys, I went and test drove this thing the other day, <clears throat> a few days later. I uh, forgot to film an outro for this thing, I guess, or I lost it. Probably the first one though. <clears throat> so we went and drove this thing, got it in the pads. They feel pretty good. We'll know more when we get them out on the track, but <clears throat> looking good back there. So if you enjoyed the video, you learned something, found it useful, something, and you enjoyed it, you liked it give it a like do the things subscribe all the good stuff especially if you want to see some more content about old betty the s550 here we should be just a couple of weeks away from getting this thing on the track and seeing what she can do i'm excited so um catch you on the next one hope to see you then peace Shout out to Ray's for making an 18 inch wheel that fits these monstrosities, even if it's just barely. Whew.